Greetings guys, it's Irish here. So in this video I'm going to do a install of Void Linux with KDE. For those who don't know what Void Linux is, it's a independent distro. It's not based off of anything. Their uh, init system is called Runit and it's very slim and very it gets out of your way. Uh, and it uh, was created by a developer of NetBSD. And uh, let's get started. So in this virtual box, I have 4 gigs of memory. I have a 25 gig hard drive. And let's get going. So I'm going to make this a streamlined. So someone did want me to do a KDE install. So that's what I'm going to try to do here for you. So switch and we'll go right in okay get rid of you get rid of this alright so this is what you need uh, so it tells you right there so for root and then void Linux for the password and then you just say void dash installer Jeez. hit OK so keyboard uh, you could pick your uh, keyboard but I use the Dvorak or you can use Colmac also so let me right there so network so you can attach your Wi-Fi to this but since we're doing it in a virtual box we'll just continue yes okay the source you can do this through network if you want but I'm just gonna do it based off of the ISO host name uh, we'll just say void KDE locale uh, we'll just say EN US there it is time zone America Chicago's for me but again put whatever you want for yours group password user accounts I'll just say Irish Irish put in that password the nice thing is it's pretty straightforward now these are your groups so I like to do LP for when I do install cups uh, for sure audio video storage if you do plan on plugging in some USB devices um, or mass storage scanner network I buy do network KVM I'll take out uh, that looks good hit OK bootloader to the whole bootloader so now normally I like to do um, three one for my boots one for my root and one for my home but because it's only 25 um, oops, sorry SDA we'll delete this new 25 we'll just do one full one make it bootable right hit yes and quit file system uh, I just do ext4 uh, and then we'll just say root hit OK hit yes uh, back done install hit yes so this doesn't actually take too long I did do a install very quickly just to make sure I have everything correct um, so I will pause this and I'll come back to you when it's done okay so once that's done it will ask you to reboot we'll hit yes and it will restart here uh, go ahead and take out the installation medium I haven't so I'll just say find, find here so it does boot into grub get rid of this guy so this is the Reddit, uh, or excuse me, Run It. Uh, 
again very quick which I love about that so we'll uh, go into root so the first thing you want to do is just update your system so we're going to do xpps dash install dash suv so what this will do will take the current repository and then hit yes um, this won't take too much long hit oh. we have to run it again xbps dash in Install, excuse me, SUV. So it has about uh, not too much, um, so we'll just hit yes and I'll be right back. Okay, so it had 78 downloads, uh, 77 updates, one install, 78 configured, and zero removed. Okay. So the next thing we need to do is install the either the window manager or the desktop environment. So this time we're going to do a KDE 5 or KDE Plasma. So XB PS dash install KDE 5. Now if you want just KDE 5, no base apps, no nothing, then just use that. Um, but we're going to do the base app. So K DE5 dash base apps and xorg. Now you can also install network manager which I'm not going to do since we are doing this through DHCP but I would install it here too and then we'll hit uh, enter. There's about 500 something packages uh, in this so this might take a little bit so I will come back to you once this is all done and give you what's going on next. Alright, so once that's done, we are just about done. We just need to add a couple of services to this, so this is a little introduction to the run it uh, in it or um, so you're just gonna do LN, so you're gonna do a symbolic link to this, so it's gonna be LN etc sv for service and it's going to be dbus and then you're going to uh, point that to var dash service uh, you're going to do another one uh, if you want this is uh, the dbus is for sure uh, this one is optional if you want sddm um, then you would just do it this way. So it'd be etc dash sv s ddm var dash service. So that is only if you want a display manager or a login manager. Okay, so once that's done, I'm gonna just clear. Uh, we're gonna reboot this really quick and then you'll see what it looks like. So what we're going to do is boot into BIOS here. Now the run it will run uh, the, S, the DBUS and the SDDM um, when it's doing its startup, so it should be right here. Hopefully this shows up. And there we go. So we just type it in. And we are all set. Oh. Didn't change. Alright. For whatever reason, it did not. Oh, that's SDDM. So it didn't, uh, it would revert your keyboard layout. If you hit Dvorak or Colmec, it would revert it back to QWERTY. So let this uh, boot up and we are in KDE 5 on Void Linux. Um, yeah, it's a pretty straightforward uh, installation. Um, let me know if there's any other 
distros you want me to do uh, installs with. I do plan on making a video either tomorrow or this weekend on I have been playing with my Xmonad and I actually got Polybar to work inside Xmonad. I do have one thing that I'm still trying to figure out so if any of you guys run Xmonad um, give me uh, a holler on this. Um, I'm trying to display the font awesome on here and yeah it's just not for whatever reason it's just not working it's just not displaying um, I will put in my Xmonad down in the description below just in case any of you guys want to take a look at it or if any of you guys know Haskell uh, and that's all I have um, please leave a comment a like all that stuff and I will catch you guys in the next video